Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome all the new subscribers, all my old subscribers that I've had throughout my journey. Now what we've been doing today, uh, well what I've been doing is I've been making some pockets. I've been doing tags and so I think it's about time we made some pockets. And I think we will do... I think we'll do this one so this is a pocket it's an expanding pocket so you can fit quite a lot in it doesn't expand at the bottom but it expands there and it's made with a square piece of paper we've also got our little boxes but I'll show them in another video I did these last year and they were quite quite popular and I know I've got a lot of new subscribers so we'll do that we've got this one where you can see that a lot of people make them but it's three pockets holds a lot of ephemera and we've got this one that sits at the, the top of your page and you can pull down and you can do some journaling on it so this is the one that we'll do today. So what I need is a square piece of paper. I'm just going to put these over here and I think we'll go with this one. Yep. So how I get a square. It's the biggest square I can get. I put that edge up to there like that. And then I cut this off, so that's what I'm going to do now. We can use this piece for other things. So now we've got our square. And what I'm going to do is decide what comes down. Yeah. So just... I've changed my chair. Okay. So what we do now is the bottom of the envelope we fold in to that crease. What I'll do is I'll, I'll ink the crease so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll put that over there. So again, that's going to be the top. So we bring this one in from the, the very corner into there and crease it and give it quite a nice crease and we do the same here watching that off Uh, it's quite a cloudy day at Cyprus today. We've had a, a cold spell and it is cold. And I'm just going to use my bone folder just to. You don't need that one as, as um, creased as that one. Then, where you've got your creased line there. You match that up to there and take this a little bit over. I've done it at about three quarters of an inch. You don't have to have it that. And then what I do is I bend that over. Now the easiest way to bend that over is to run your ruler along the edge of the paper and there we are I've got that and then fold it over and that tucks in there I do glue mine okay 
here. And then what we do is we fold this. So we want this line here to match that fold there. And you can make really big ones if you've got, you know, 12 by 12 paper. And again, fold that in. You don't want it um, overlapping that, you just want it matching. Then what we do is, I'm just going to fold it that way as well. Then what we do is, we push that in there. And again, I just want to push that one in there like so and then I usually leave it probably that and fold it over and you can leave a point there or you can fold it in and all you do is you just match your crease to your crease in the middle or stick that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of glue up either side and these two lines here and some glue on that bit that turns over and then pull that out and there we have our nice expanding envelope so you can fill that with ephemera they're ideal for um, happy mail, you know, putting bits and pieces. If you've got bits and pieces to send, um, if you have an Etsy shop and you sell die cuts or little bits of cutouts, an ideal little bag for putting them in. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do some... Um, it's a modern book, it's Russian. Um, I quite like the font. <laughs> I uh, need to cut a little bit more off that. And just pop it in there like that. it in and then put some glue you know if you're using a digital or a um, you can always print on the other side or if you're using a, a two-sided um, scrapbook paper you don't need to do this but this is just showing you what you can do if you all right I've just got a little bit of okay and I'm just going to ink around the edges Okay, so there we've got that, and I'm just going to just burnish all the edges. So 
So there, so we've got that one. So now we'll do one out of a book page. This will be a little bit smaller because I don't have um, and if you don't have a trimmer, just trim it up like that. And again, I'll just I'll do it like that. Fold it into that edge and fold that one. Into that edge. Again, now just do it to me what what looks right um, there's no rights and wrongs of, of um, where you have to fold it these sides in so that the two edges meet. So this is going to be a little ditty pocket but it'll still hold quite a bit. And again fold them all that, that way. The only reason I do this it's so that it so that you can put it in there like that. And the same with that. And you can see that's opened a little bit, but it, it's fine. So that's why I put put that one over, and then I usually put my thumbs there and stop it. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave that one as a point, so you can see it's. Quarter of an inch I've left that one. And again, we'll just ink around the edges. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink around this one in black. Shove that in there out of the way. So we've got a boot page one and we've got a digital one so what we're going to do now is we're going to decorate it with some bits of leaves and we'll get that furry lace out and we'll get this lace out now i always like something up the middle on this one but that's a bit too And it can stick right over there because that's not going to um, hinder it's this you don't want to stick down. I'm not sure if I want to use that. 
um, got some pink so I think what we'll do is we'll do the pink on this one so I'm just going to trim that up so that's that I want pink on this one no um, I want this pink on this one I do want some of that on there some of that on there and that over the top no quite like that so that needs trimming up there it's a little bit harder to cut this one do I want any white Not that anyway. Um, quite like this one. Yep, I'll have some of this. So that's them two. Um, do we want to get at the top? I don't know. Do we want some white on this one? No, not any of that. It's some rick rack. Quite like that. So that's that one. And what else have I got? Hmm, got some of this as well. Do I want any of this on here? Not sure about that one. Oh, got stuff from some. So that's going to go there, that's going to go there. How about this? Yeah. Right, so what I'll do is I'll stick these down first. So I'm using Fabri-Tac. Got this little bit of rick rack. Should we have that up there? No, we'll not leave that. So I'm just putting that one there for now. So this one's going here, and again, down. This one hasn't got a, a good side and a bad side. <laughs> So we've got that. Oh. I'm 
just checking that it's level because that pink one tends to curve round which sometimes it that's good and sometimes it's not but I am going to have a little bit of this rick rack on the top because it's sparkly fingers get stuck with that oops and I'm pulling it off so we'll just leave that like that until it dries Now, what do I want on the top? I don't know whether I want anything on the top. Um, I've got a little bit of sparkle lace here. No, I've got some. We might have a bit of this on now. Now we've got some copper as well. No, I like this one. And I'm just going to do a single strand. That other one won't just quite nice actually so we'll see what we want on here I think we'll have a some of the pearls I'll just cut a double strand there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to join two strands together Which is virtually impossible for me. have stuck to the glue. Oh, get off. Once it sticks it's fine. It doesn't come off. But it's just the getting the getting it stuck. No, that's not very straight, so while it's still wet, and that's how I get my straight line. So we'll leave that dry. 
and there. No, should have brought my Tim Holtz, um, mini Tim Holtz when they cost they're quite good for cutting material at the moment. Alright, so that's that one. That one is straight. Put all those little bits in these. Um, now I've got this. This is coordinations. Uh, sand and tear so I'm just going to give myself a wee chop right okay okay so this should fit in here Yes, and what I am going to do is I am going to put a little piece of this on. gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, and I'm just going to trim that because it had some and so we'll put that one in there. And I'm going to get this one in here. And I'm going to take it to here. I'm going to have the hole in. And I think I'll put a little bit of boot page. I could put that one on. Okay. Put that on. Okay. And again. And that just gives me some wiggle room. Now, shouldn't have had that, but I have, but it's still on there, and I'm just going to edge around this one in black as well. So we've got journaling space there, it's journaling space there, you know, if you use a, um, sort of like a, a white pen or something. And so we've got that. We've got that one. What have we got in our that's not that's too big. Um that one. Okay, we can use that one. And I think we'll have one of them and one of them. All right, so I will speed this up. I am. Okay, so we've got that. And we've got some great boot page, so 
glue. I'll see what I can get on this one. And I'm using my glue stick. And again, we'll just stink this round. That's it. And these can go in there. And then actually to fasten these, you can, and this is just a, a strip of paper, um, probably a quarter of an inch in width, but I'm, fold, oh, I'm folding it over just to give it a little bit more strength because I just want a tiny strip, I don't want to is just right. okay that's me I'm back so we've done that one so that just slides in and then that way you can put quite a bit in there um, and then just slide that and it keeps it closed you could put like a little embellishment you could put you know the little pearls either side so that they look like um, little studs so this one um, I've got a little bit of the, the Greek uh, boot page which is a little bit lighter so the the two tones okay so what we do is and I'm going to put that quite far up um, so I'm just lifting that and I'm putting a little bit of glue down there and hold it Turn it round and again a little bit of glue down there. Turn it round. You could even put a piece of lace or a piece of ribbon. Um, depends what you want to do. And then just ink two edges see where I put the I put like a a net ruffle up that one a piece of ribbon and I did do some little um, mushrooms on that one I've got some mushrooms here but I think they're probably just a little bit too do I think we will. Stools. Or toadstools, whatever they are. So I'll put that one there. And there we are. Should we put one on there? Yeah. It's like if we just cut them down like that. That's actually quite nice. Um, okay. 
here we want to look at the other one. Yeah, I want some of this. Yep. I'll just trim that there and then it doesn't look too... I can still use that. And this is like an iridescent lilac, um, so it's got green in it. And when I stamped black on it, um, it came out like a, a green look, because I did some tickets. So I don't know whether you're picking up on that, but that was the, the onyx black. But see how it's, it's picked up the, the green, I don't know whether you can see it. It looks black, but it has definitely picked up the green. So, quite a nice. It's the first time I've used that card. There we are. So there we are, so we've got three. I didn't put a band on that one, but it was when I'd done this one, I thought I could have done with a band. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that one. I think so I'll just and I keep all these little bits that I, you know, trim off things um, for especially for this kind of stuff. Just putting a little bit of glue there and lift that up and a little bit of glue there. And it doesn't um doesn't impair the envelope at all because it still opens. If you were to tuck it round, it would stop these from opening. Um, as you can see, I put a, a little fat tag in that one, and that was actually what I cut off the bottom, and I made a, a little tag. So, and you can use sort of like your, your, you know, your leftover digitals, overbook pages. So I hope you get something out of that. So we've been doing tags. I've still got quite a few more tags to do. Um, but I thought we'll get some pockets done otherwise we'll have too many tags and no way to put them and so we've got a little dinky one which is two and a half by three and the big one which is a square that's three and three quarters by just at a four and an eighth. So this one should be the, the same. Yeah, three and three quarters. And no, this one's actually bigger. It must have been bigger paper. This is um, three eighths. So there we are. And they can you can actually stick them on the journal page. You could actually glue round that way so you've got some then to go in. Um, or you can pop them in a pocket. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.